What's going on guys? The topic for today is revising your old work. Um, this topic actually came about because as you may or may not know, I'm working on a video game called Project Resurgence and one of the tribes within our game world is called the Bark. Now these guys, I'm going to try to try to draw while I uh, talk. These guys are the most technologically advanced characters within the game. Um, what you're looking at now, these were the original designs. And I drew these guys like maybe two or three years ago. Um, so it's pretty old. And um, I, I kind of realized that we needed to, um, we, need to, we needed to redo these guys and get a real feel for their design language. One of the biggest things that we had discussed was that Art, Art Deco was going to be a big influence on the, the design for the major technological aspects of our world. And because these guys are so technologically advanced, we need to make sure that it was incorporated into their, um, into their designs. So as you can see, some of the things that just weren't working for me um, were, you know, things like uh, their, their jackets with the, with the technology incorporated into it. Um, again, I, I've grown a lot as an artist, I feel so. I, when you kind of look at some of your old stuff, you start to realize like, holy crap, this, uh, this, this is not, this is not working. This doesn't really look good. Um, and I could be, you know, overly critical of myself, but some of these designs just didn't, didn't look right to me. I didn't understand how they worked. I didn't understand what kind of material stuff like this was, this blue color. Um, originally we were thinking of like a Kevlar type of material. But then I, I thought that was just a bit too advanced for the kind of world we're going for um, because uh, one of the major influences is like World War One design and stuff like that. So yeah, I don't know. I just, uh, I wasn't really feeling it. So I asked if we could um, start on something new and I got approval. So I wanted to kind of take you guys through the steps of my process and how I got to my new design. So. What, what I did was I was still looking at, at some aspects of the original. Um, one of their major factors is they have these sort of like glowing silvery eyes and these glowing tattoos. So that, that had to be part of their, con um, their, their end concept. Um, they also had these goggles because their, their eyes are super sensitive to light because they've been underground for so long. Um, so those are the kinds of things that we had to make sure we, we kept. Um, I did a lot of research on um, different armors of like World War I era. I was also looking at other video games that had a similar sort of feel like the old Fallout games and stuff like that. So I did a couple, you know, thumbnails. And these should really only take you like, I don't know, 20, 20 minutes tops per, per thumbnail just to get some, some shapes down. And then I presented them to um, our our director, and we we narrowed down some things we liked and disliked, and then it goes more into you know a, a more rendered thumbnail. So that's where you get something like this. And we were liking things like the jacket and um, the, the that color blue that kind of like pops beneath their their neck. It kind of gives them a nice silhouette. And I tried to give them more realistic materials like. Um, you know, like silver for for the metal, and you know, uh, like leather for pauldrons and leather for armor and stuff like that. Um, stuff that you, you could very easily just see it um, in the in the final render and like understand what kind of what kind of material it is. Um, so yeah, from there, uh, we we had originally thought like it would be cool because. Uh, these guys are supposed to be the heavy armor type characters in our in our game um, So we figured okay, they need to be fully covered in their chest areas like you know breastplate um, Pauldrons and that kind of thing. That's what we were originally thinking with them But that's one of the things that just wasn't really working with the design language our um, Our perspective is kind of like that uh, isometric perspective so you're seeing most of their heads and their shoulders, I don't know if you guys can, can see this, and a little bit of their feet. And you can zoom in and out with the camera, but something like, like a chest region right here, you know, covered by a jacket, you wouldn't really see all of that intricate detail that's going on in there. So 
we thought it would be cool to just make their jackets look thick and like they're made out of wool or something like that and it would protect them in combat. So this was the next round of revi revi the revisions and um, we, we kind of we kind of stuck with that idea. So I approached um, our manager with a couple different concepts and um, we we went with with this one. We liked the uh, design language of these these um, straps going across like that. But one of the things that we thought was missing was we really liked these glowy things, these glowy lights. But we didn't want to do that generic, you know, like Iron Man kind of lighting or, you know, just like lights to be there just to be there kind of thing. So in the final design, what I tried to do was incorporate that Art Deco feel with the shapes. And I incorporated the lights and still made it work with the with the overall design. I did like what we were going for with these um, arm guard kind of things, so I still stuck with that. Um, but I tried to give it more of, of a uh, understanding. So, you know, there's maybe some sort of like battery attachment in here, and that runs down to the light, makes the light shine, and maybe it gives him like power or something in his gauntlet. And then you can't see this, but we also had a, a reasoning for the light on the pauldron as well. We gave him a battery pack behind him, and there's like a cable that runs out, and it goes up here and connects to that. So those are the kinds of things that we were thinking of when we were designing these guys. And then I'll zoom in on the female so you can see her any better. So, yeah. Let me see in my notes if I missed anything. Oh, one of the other things, if you guys had watched uh, my last video with the Project Resurgence character, Mari, one of the things in our game is an attachment system. So, basically we have three different points that you can attach uh, specialized armor to the character. They have a base set of armor, and then you can attach something to their shoulder, to their chest, and to their arm. But that doesn't work with every single armor. And what we narrowed in on with these guys was that this um, arm guard looked like it could easily pop off and we could replace it with something. So I just had to make sure that that was there so that we can give this armor type variety. So that's one of the, that, that's another thing having to do with the, um, the requirements for a project. Thanks for watching. Um, I just really wanted to put this video out because as I was working on these guys, I was starting to realize that um, I hadn't only grown stronger as a, as a painter technically, but also as a designer. And it really made me sit down and think, why, why is this old thing not working? And uh, what can I do to better adhere to how the project is going now and where it will be going in the future? And I would just like to see some of your guys' works. Um, you can post them on our Facebook. And um, I want you to not just do one of those things like you're leveling up or whatever, and you're showing a new version of an old painting. I want you to explain what you think you did in the new one that makes it better than the old one. Because I think um, sitting down and really contemplating how you've grown as an artist is one of the ways that you can become better without even doing any art. Just sitting and thinking is, is always very, very strong. So yeah, thanks again guys and uh, be sure to like and subscribe on Facebook and uh, follow us on Instagram, YouTube, that kind of stuff. Alright, bye.